We say aka akaya aka Jehovah ne memba presence once again i welcome you into the presence of the lord today by the special grace of god we're going to be looking at the subject the hand of god the hand of god remember we are still in the month of mighty wonders and i'm praying for you in the name of the lord jesus before the very last second of this month of may the almighty god the one who is called the god of wonders the wonderful himself shall perform mighty wonders in your life Amen. and in your family in the name of jesus christ Amen. i welcome you to another miraculous encounter with the god of wonders and I believe, God, that the mighty hand of God will touch you, will heal you, will help you, and will bless you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The hand of God. The hand of God. I'm going to be reading from John, Joshua chapter number 4, verse 24. Joshua chapter 4 and verse 24. Joshua chapter 4 verse 24, one of the songs that I have always loved, um, we're going to be singing it maybe when we're about to pray, is a touch me with your hand, oh Lord, touch me with your hand, Lion of Judah, touch me with your hand. Oh Lord, touch me with your hand. Jesus, 
Please don't let me go The way I came today Jesus, touch me with your hand Oh Lord, please don't let me go The way I came today, today Touch me with your hand, oh Lord. Joshua chapter 4 and verse 24. That all the people of the earth might know the hand of the Lord. That it is mighty, that it is mighty, that it is mighty that you might fear the Lord your God forever, that all the people of the earth might know the hand of the Lord, that it is mighty, and that you might fear the Lord your God forever. I like to announce to someone, the mighty hand of the Lord shall do mighty wonders in your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Follow me very closely. Psalm 118. Psalm 118 verse 15 and 16. Psalm 118 verse 15 and 16. The Bible says the voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. I believe the Bible is talking about you. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord do it valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord do it valiantly. I like to announce to you in the name of the Lord Jesus, the right hand of the Lord will do valiantly on your behalf Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 119. Psalm 119, just one chapter. After that, Psalm 119, verse 173. Psalm 119, verse 173. The Bible speaking, this was the prayer of David. And David said in verse 173 of Psalm 119, Let thine hand help me. Let thine hand help me. For I have chosen thy precepts. Let thine hand help me. I like to pray for you, child of God, in the name that is above every other name. The hand of Jehovah shall help you. I said the hand of Jehovah shall help you in the name of Jesus. The hand of God, the hand of God. The hand of the Lord is mighty and it can do mighty wonders. In fact, the Bible says the right hand of God, it does valiantly. In other words, the right hand of God is valiant, is powerful, and it does victorious things that makes the voice of rejoicing and salvation to be in the tabernacle of the righteous and therefore I decree in the name of the Lord Jesus the hand of the Lord shall do mighty wonders for you Amen. valiant and powerful things Amen. that will bring joy and salvation Amen. victory and deliverance Amen. lifting and healing Amen. into your life into your family Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. glory to God he says in that Psalm 118, uh, Joshua chapter 4 and verse 24, he says, let the whole world know that the hand of the Lord is mighty, is mighty, is mighty. I like to pray for someone here. By reason of the mighty wonders you will experience, the whole world will come to acknowledge that the hand of the Lord is with you, that the hand of the Lord is for you, and the hand of the Lord is upon you. In the name of Jesus. 
You remember this very popular story in Exodus in chapter 15. Exodus chapter 15. Uh, in fact, when you read from Exodus chapter 8, uh, when God sent Pharaoh, when God sent Moses to go and meet Pharaoh, and the Bible says in Exodus chapter 4, verse 17, and thou shalt take this rod in thy hand, wherewith thou shalt do signs. And the Bible says, uh, when Moses began to do many signs and many wonders in Egypt, the Bible made us to understand that Pharaoh and his magicians, they tried to replicate what Moses was doing. And the Bible says when they could not overcome what Moses and Aaron were being sent to do, Pharaoh and his magicians, they saw the wonders of God as perfect formed through the hand of Moses and Aaron and they were so amazed that despite their enchantment and their magic power they could not overcome that of Moses and they said in Exodus chapter 8 and verse 19 Exodus chapter 8 verse 19 this is the finger of God this is the finger of God I like to prophesy over your life in the battles of life, in the battles of your destiny, the finger of God will fight for you. I said the finger of God will grant you victory in the name of Jesus. The hand of the Almighty God, it has the skill, the strength, the power, the capacity and the ability. In fact, it has the willingness and the readiness, the urgency and the force to help you, to save you, to rescue you, to protect you, to promote you, to prosper you, to bless you and to lift you. I don't know exactly what you want the end of the Lord to do for you but I decree in the name of Jesus the end of God will do for you the desires of your heart in the name of Jesus Look at the scripture in Isaiah chapter 41. Isaiah chapter 41 verses 10 all through to verse 20. But I'm just going to read verse 10 and verse 20. Isaiah chapter 41. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. The Bible says, and I believe the Lord is speaking to someone today. He says, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed. For I am thy God, I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help you, yea, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. I believe God is speaking to someone today. Fear not, child of God. Be not dismayed. God says, I will strengthen you. He says, he will help you. He says, he will uphold you with the right hand of his righteousness. And I decree in the name of the Lord Jesus, the right hand of God will uphold you. I said, the right hand of God will strengthen you. In the name of Jesus. And then in verse 20, he says, when you read from verse 11, I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valley. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. And he says, all of these things is going to be accomplished by the hand of God. Look at verse 20. He says that they may see and know and consider and understand together, glory to God, that the hand of the Lord has done this. The hand of the Lord has done this. The only one of Israel has created it. I pray for you, child of God, whatever you need, whatever you desire, whatever you want to do, want to be, want to have, which in whichever area of life, I decree the hand of the Lord will make it happen for you. I said the hand of the Lord will make it happen for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Whatever you need, whatever you desire, whatever you want to be, you want to have, you want to become, the hand of God can make it happen. The hand of God can deliver it to you. And right now, I decree in the name of Jesus, receive your miracle, receive your answer, receive your testimony, receive your healing, receive your breakthrough, receive your desire by the mighty hand of Jehovah. In the name of Jesus. The hand of God. The hand of God. The hand of God. The hand of God that comprises of the five fingers of God. It represents, number one, the power of God. The providence of God. The possibilities of God. The provision of God. And the protection of God. I'll say that one more time. The hand of God that represents the five fingers of God. It represents, number one, the power of Jehovah. Number two, the providence of God. Number three, the possibilities of God. Number four, the provision of God. And number five, the protection of God. I pray for you. Whatever the hand of God represents shall be made to manifest in your life and in your family in the name of Jesus. One of the greatest assets and advantage in life, one of the greatest assets and advantage in destiny is not money, is not land, is not friends, there is not even houses, though all of this may be great and wonderful assets, but the greatest asset and advantage in life is the mighty hand of God with you, for you, and upon you. The mighty hand of God with you, for you, and upon your life and destiny. I pray for you as I pray for myself. In life and in destiny, the hand of the Lord will be with you. Amen. The hand of the Lord will be for you. Amen. And the hand of the Lord will rest upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And equally, one of the greatest disadvantage, one of the greatest tragedy, one of the greatest travail and trouble in life is the absence or the removal of the hand of God upon a man. Or when the hand of God is against a man, against his business, his career, his ministry, or his destiny. I pray for you. I pray for you. Earnestly and fervently, may the mighty hand of God be with you. May the mighty hand of God be for you. May the mighty hand of God be upon your life. In the name of Jesus, doing mighty wonders for you. And I pray for you. May the hand of God not be against you. May the hand of God not be absent in your life. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Time will fail me to go through all the examples in the Bible of men and women that the hand of God came to their rescue, that the hand of God helped them, that the hand of God delivered them, that the hand of God delivered for them whatever is their heart's desire. When you go through the Bible, one of my favorite examples is Peter. The Bible says in Matthew's Gospel chapter 14 and verse 31, on Matthew chapter 14 verse 31 when Peter was about to sink on the sea when remember when Jesus said when he told Jesus can you ask me to come the way you are walking on the sea I also want to walk on the sea and Peter began to walk on the sea when Jesus said come and as he removed his focus away from Jesus the Bible says he began to sink but guess 
world, the mighty hand of Jesus, the outstretched hand of Jesus saved him and rescued him from falling, from sinking. I decree and I pray for you in those times and moments when you are on the verge of sinking, when you're on the verge of failing and falling, I decree the hand of God will catch you. The hand of God will save you. The hand of God will rescue you. The hand of God will help you. You will not fall. I decree you will not fail. You will not falter. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, another example. When the children of Israel. They were faced with a huge obstacle. On their way to the promised land. The Red Sea was in front of them. And behind them. Their long time oppressors and tax master. The Egyptians. The host of Pharaoh. And the, the children of Israel were confused. They were depressed. Discouraged. They were deserted. They were afraid and almost destroyed, but they thank God for the mighty hand of God that came to save and deliver them, that came to rescue them. In Joshua chapter 4, when you read from verse 23 and 24 that we read earlier on, the Bible says that it was the mighty hand of God that saved them, that the whole earth might know that this was done by the mighty hand of Jehovah. In Exodus chapter 15, Exodus chapter 15, when you read from verse 3 to 6, verse 3 to 6, and from verse 11 to 12, it was the hand of God walking through the hand of Moses that parted the Red Sea. I like to pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus on your journey to your promised land, on your journey to the land of fulfillment fulfillment, on your journey to the next level, on your journey to your own land of milk and honey, I decree and declare every obstacle, every red sea, every obstruction on your way, the mighty hand of Jehovah shall remove it. I said the mighty hand of God will part the red sea in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. And that, that was why the song in Exodus chapter 15 verse 11 came about. He says, who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, and always doing wonders? Always doing wonders. Always doing wonders. The same hand was the same hand of God that closed back the Red Sea and swallowed the host of the Egyptians. I pray for you. The mighty hand of God will swallow up the host of the enemy in the name of Jesus. You know, I read in my Bible, Acts chapter 2, verse 32 and 33. Acts chapter 2, verse 32 and 33. The Bible speaking, it says, This Jesus has God raised up, whereof we are all witnesses. This same Jesus, God raised him up, wherefore we are all witnesses. Look at verse 33. Therefore, being by the might, by the right hand of God, exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he had shed forth these, uh, which you now see and hear. The hand of God that helped and raised Jesus out of the grave, lifted him out of the depths of darkness, and raised him up to the heavenlies uh, to make him sit at the right hand of the Father, far above principalities and powers. I pray for someone today by the mighty hand of Jehovah. I see your business. I see your family. I see your marriage. I see your finances, your career, your ministry, your spiritual life coming out of obscurity, coming out of shame, coming out of the depths of darkness, resurrecting back to life, being lifted up far above your competitors, far above principalities and powers in the name of Jesus. 
the mighty hand of God. The mighty hand of God. It was the mighty hand of God in John's Gospel chapter 8 from verse 3 to 11 that was writing mercy, forgiveness, a new dawn, a new chapter for that woman that was caught in adultery. She was about to die. They were about to stone her to death. But Jesus took and he began to write, not yet. Ah, you are still going to leave. I wrote mercy mercy for you. I'm writing forgiveness for you. I'm writing a new beginning for you. I don't know who I'm speaking about, but God says I should tell you, by the finger of God, a new chapter shall be written for you. Mercy shall be written for you. Forgiveness shall be written for you. Men may have written you off, but the hand of God, the hand of mercy, will rewrite your story. I said the hand of God's mercy will rewrite your story, giving you a new beginning, giving you a new start. In the name of Jesus, I pray for someone today. Every hand of accusation, every hand of judgment, every hand of condemnation, every hand that is uniting against your life and destiny, every evil hand that is pointed at you, the hand of my God, we overrule it, we overwrite it, the hand of my God will pardon you, he will write mercy for you, he will write justification for you. He will write forgiveness for you. The hand of God will speak blessing into your life in the name of Jesus. What about Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 18? 1 Kings chapter 18 from verse 41 to 46. 1 Kings chapter 18 from verse 41 to 46. You remember when the man of God said, I hear the sound of abundance of rain. Rain is about to fall. Something is about to happen. There's going to be a shift in the atmosphere. The rain is going to fall. After three and a half years, and the Bible says Elijah sent message to the king and said, you, you better get ready and begin to run so that the rain will not catch up with you. And the Bible says, Ahab the king, he carried his chariot, the king's chariot, and he began to run. He began to run. And here was Elijah still kneeling down where he was on the mountain. But guess what? The Bible says in verse 46, the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he outran the chariot of Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. You didn't get that. The hand of God came upon Elijah, a man with his bare legs. He outran a man that was on chariot. I like to prophesy and pray for you in the name of Jesus. No matter who has gone ahead of you in the scheme of things, in life by the mighty hand of God you will overtake I say you will overtake by the mighty hand of God I speak divine acceleration into your life. I speak divine speed into your life. The hand of God will lift you. The hand of God will carry you. The hand of God will promote you. The hand of God will accelerate your journey in life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The hand of God will help you. I said the hand of God will help you. The hand of God will be strong and mighty on your behalf. The mighty hand of Jehovah will do valiant things for you. In the name of Jesus, I'll give you a few more examples. In, in 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. 
First Chronicles chapter 4, First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10, Jabez prayed a prayer. Jabez prayed to God and he said, and the Bible says in First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bear him with sorrow. His name was called Jabez because Jabez means sorrow. And look at verse 10. Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thine hand might be with me. Glory to God. So that your hand may be with me, and that this same hand will keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. I am praying for you as I pray for myself. May the hand of God be with you. May the hand of God keep you from evil. May the hand of God do for you the desires of your heart in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Let me give you one more example and so that we can pray. Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 2. Nehemiah chapter number 2. When you read verse 17 and 18. Nehemiah, 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 where are you? Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 17 and 18. The Bible speaking, it says, Then said I unto them, you see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lieth waste, and the gates thereof, are bound with fire. He says, come and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem so that we may no, we be no more a reproach. Look at verse 18. Then I told them of the hand of my God, the hand of my God, which was of good upon me, as also the king's words that he has spoken unto me. And they said, let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. Jump to chapter 6. Chapter 6, verse 15 and 16. Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 15 and 16. Verse 15 and 16. The Bible says, So the wall was finished in, 20 and in the 20 and 5th day of the month Elul, in 50 and 2 days. And it came to pass that when all our enemies heard thereof and all the Eden that were about us, when they saw these things, they were much cast down in their own eyes, for they perceived that this work was wrought of our God. Praise God. When you go through the book of Nehemiah and Ezra, you will see how that the hand of God was what was upon Nehemiah that helped him to do what the enemies thought he couldn't do. It was that same hand of God that was upon Nehemiah that made the king to grant him his request. It was the same hand that was upon Nehemiah that made him to finish in 52 days the wall, the rebuilding of the wall of Jerusalem. I'm praying for you today in the name of the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord shall be good upon you. The hand of the Lord will strengthen you and grant you favor in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Time will fail us to go into so many other scriptures. But listen, I just want to tell you this. The hand of God is so mighty. It can do many, many mighty wonders. And just as a recap, I'd like you to listen to this. The hand of God can touch you. And I pray the hand of God will touch you today. The hand of God can heal you. The hand of God can hold you. The hand of God can help you. The hand of God can give to you. The hand of God can bless you. The hand of God can cover you. The hand of God can lift you. The hand of my God can deliver you. 
the hand of my God can even connect you to men of destiny, to destiny helpers. The hand of God can protect you and shield you from evil. The hand of God can promote you. It can fight for you. It can open doors for you. Doors you couldn't open by yourself. The hand of God can open any door. The hand of God can make ways for you where there seems to be no way. The hand of God can strengthen you. It can save you. It can restore you. It can revive you. It can resurrect you. The hand of God can rescue you. The hand of God can make you and mold you into what he needs you to become. I pray for you in the name of Jesus from the very depth of my heart. Whatever good thing the hand of my God can do for you, it shall do in your life. It shall perform in your life. It shall perform in your family. It shall perform concerning your destiny. The hand of God shall be with you. The hand of God will help you. The hand of my God will come to your rescue. It shall deliver to you the desires of your heart in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Touch me with your hands. Oh, Lord, touch me with your hands. Lion of Judah, touch me with your hands. Oh, Lord, touch me with your hands. Jesus, please don't let me go. The way I came today. Touch me with your hand, oh Lord, help me with your hands, my God, help me with your hands, ancient of days, help me with your hands. Mighty Jehovah, help me with your hands. Jesus, please don't let me go. The way I came today, touch me with your hands. Somebody just lift your voice. And just pray that prayer and say, Father, help me with your hand. Touch me with your hand. Rescue me with your hand. I don't know if you're praying. Just lift your voice and just cry out to Jehovah. And say, Lord, I need your hand to fight for me. I need your hand to rescue me. I need your hand to help me. David said, Psalm 119, verse 173, Let thine hand help me, O God. Father, let your hand help me. Somebody open your mouth and say, Lord, let your hand help me. Let your hand help me. Let your hand help me. I cannot help myself. Lord, help me. Help me. Help me by your mighty hand. In the name of Jesus, let your mighty hand help me. Let your mighty hand help me. Somebody cry out to God. I need your help, Jesus. Let your hand help me. Let your hand help me. I cannot help myself. Let your hand save me. Let your hand rescue me. Let your hand heal me. Let your hand make way for me. In the name of Jesus, uh, let your hand promote me. Uh, let your hand lift me. Uh, let your hand come to strengthen me. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, that they may see, uh, that they may consider, that they may understand uh, that the hand of the Lord has done this uh, and that the Holy One of Israel has created it. Uh, Father, let your hand help me. Uh, in the name of Jesus, 
Rata Pilipe Leko Subaliara, E Shekete Lika Subalianos, Father, let your hand help me, let your hand help me in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I like you to pray to God and say, Father, I thank you for the mighty wonders that you are doing by your mighty hand. Come on, lift your voice and give thanks to God and say, Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Somebody, please open your mouth and give thanks to the Lord. God has been gracious to you. His hand has helped you, has rescued you in the past. Give thanks to him and say, Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Glory to God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You're going to pray this prayer. Say, Father, from now on and forever, let your hand be with me. Let your hand be for me. And let your hand be upon me. One more time. Say, Father, from now on, and forever let your hand be with me let your hand be for me and let your hand be upon me in the mighty name of jesus please open your mouth and pray that prayer my god and my father in the name of jesus i pray that from now and forth for the rest of my life let your hand be with me let your hand be for me let your hand be upon me in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray like Jabez cried out to you, let your hand be with me. Let your hand be with me. Let your hand be for me and let your hand be upon me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, the hand of power, the hand of providence, the hand of possibilities, the hand of progress and prosperity the hand of provision let it be with me here let it be upon me here let it be for me in the name of Jesus thank you my father in Jesus mighty name we are praying you're going to pray that prayer that David prayed in Psalm 119 verse 173 Psalm 119 Verse 173, David said, let your hand help me, O Lord. Very simple prayer, but powerful prayer. You're going to lift your voice, say, my father, let your hand help me. Let your hand help me in my business, in my family, in my academics, in my finances, concerning my destiny, concerning the works of my hands, concerning my children, concerning my spouse, concerning my future. Let your hand help me. Let your hand help me. Let your hand help me. Lift your voice and pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. Say, Father, let your hand help me. Let your hand help me. I cannot help myself. Father, let your hand help me. Lift your voice and pray that prayer. Father, let your hand help me. Those of you watching online, wherever you may be, I'd like you to take a moment and pray this powerful prayer from the depth of your heart with humility. You cannot help yourself, but the hand of God can help you. Say, Father, let your hand help me. Let your hand help me in every area of my life. Father, please let your outstretched hand, let it help me me in the name of Jesus let your hand help me oh God let your hand help me my father let your hand help me here you helped men of old father my own shall not be too difficult for you let your hand help me in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we are praying Remember, I told you that it was the hand of God that was stretched for the hand of Jesus that rescued Peter when Peter was about falling. In Matthew's Gospel, chapter 14 and verse 31, the Bible said Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught Peter by the hand. You're going to pray this prayer and say, Father... Ah, let your hand save me. Let your hand rescue me. Keep me from failing. Keep me from falling. 
Keep me from fainting. Keep me from sinking. God, let your hand catch me. Let your hand carry me. Let your hand uphold me. In the name of Jesus, in life and in destiny, I refuse to fall. I refuse to fail. I refuse to faint because the hand of God is rescuing me. The hand of God is carrying me. The hand of God is lifting me. In the name of Jesus, Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You're going to pray this next prayer. In Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, and you can read all the way to verse 20. He says, fear not, child of God. Don't be dismayed. Ah, the Lord says, I will help you. I will strengthen you. He says, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. So you're going to pray, child of God. Say, my father, my father, let your hand strengthen me. Let your hand help me. Let your hand uphold me. Uphold me with your right hand of righteousness. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. And say, Lord, let your hand strengthen me. Let your hand help me. Let your hand uphold me. In the name of Jesus, pray that prayer. Strengthen me by your hand. Help me by your hand. Uphold me by your hand. In the name of Jesus, help me by your hand. Strengthen me where I am weak, oh God. Strengthen me where I am weak. Where I need strength. In my inner man, in my emotions, in my physical body. Oh God, strengthen me. Strengthen me in my spirit. Strengthen me in my soul. Strengthen me in my body. By your mighty hand, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Uh, the Bible also made us to understand that it was the mighty hand of God that parted the Red Sea. You're going to pray pray this prayer. I don't know that which is standing between you and your next level. Maybe in your life, in your destiny, in your business, in your finances, in your education, in any area of life at all. Whatever has constituted itself as a Red Sea, by the mighty hand of God, the Red Sea shall be parted. I said the Red Sea shall be parted. In the name of Jesus. So you're going to pray this prayer. Say, my father, my father. You parted the Red Sea for the children of Israel to walk on dry ground. Every obstacle, every obstruction, every hindrance to my promised land, to my next level, in every area of my life. Father, stretch out your hand, oh God, and remove them out of the way. Remove every obstruction out of the way. That which is too mighty for me to carry away or to remove. Lord, stretch out your hand and remove that obstruction. Whatever the obstruction is, physical, spiritual, emotional, whatever it may be, oh God, God of heaven, stretch out your hand and remove every obstruction out of the way. Remove them out of the way, out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. In the name of Jesus, where there was no way, God, by your mighty hand, make a way for me. Where there was no way, by your mighty hand, make a way for me. Make a way for me. Remove obstructions out of my way. By your mighty hand, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I want you to also have this prayer to it. Say, Father, whatever door that my hand cannot open or too heavy for my hand to open, too strong for my hand to open, Father, let your hand open it. Open it by your mighty hand. Open it by your mighty hand. Open it by your mighty hand. In the name of Jesus, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Oh, lift up your hands so ye gate and be ye lifted up you everlasting doors that the king of glory may come in in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every door, every gate that is too strong for my hand to open. My God and my Father, open it by your hand. Open it by your mighty hand. Open it by your mighty hand. That door to my next level. That door of healing. That door of advancement. That door of breakthrough. That door of spiritual grace and anointing. 
that door of iron rings in the spirit. Open it by your mighty hand. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. You're going to pray this prayer. Psalm 34 verse 24. Psalm 37. Psalm 37. Psalm 37 and verse 24. Psalm 37. Psalm 37 and verse 24. The Bible says, Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. Amen. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Amen. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I don't know who you are, but I pray for you. We men thought you will fail and fall. The hand of God will uphold you. In fact, the hand of God will lift you up. The hand of God will promote you. The hand of God will elevate you. The hand of God will uphold you. In the name of Jesus, pray this prayer in 30 seconds. Say, my father, my father, let your mighty hand uphold me and lift me beyond what any man can do. In the name of Jesus, where men thought I will fall and fail, father, lift me up. In the name of Jesus, lift me by your hand. Lift me by your hand in life and in destiny. Lift me by your hand in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I like to quickly run through this Psalm on Psalm 16 and verse 11. Psalm 16 verse 11. You remember this popular scripture? Psalm 16 and verse 11. The Bible says, "Thou will show me the path of life." Uh, in thy presence is the fullness of joy and then it says at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore glory to God at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore in other words in the hand of God there are pleasures not pressures there are pleasures in the hand of God there are presents in the hand of God there are pleasant surprises Oh, there are pleasures, there are presents, there are pleasant surprises. You are going to cry out to God and say, my father, my father, all the pleasures, the presents, and the pleasant surprises that you have for me in your hand, Father, release them to me, let them be delivered to me in the name of Jesus. Pray that strategic prayer very quickly and say, Father, deliver them to me. All the pleasures and all the presents, all the pleasant surprises in your hand, Father, deliver them to me. Release them into my hand, oh God. Release them into my hand. Release them into my hand. Release them into my hand. In the name of Jesus, thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You still pray that prayer in another way. Psalm 145, verse 16. Psalm 145, verse 16. The Bible says, Thou openest thy hand and satisfieth the desire of every living thing. Until God opens his hand to you, you may not experience satisfaction. But I'm praying for you today as I pray for myself. May the hand of God be open towards you and may he satisfy all of your desires in the name of Jesus. So you're going to cry out to God one more time. Say, my father, my father. Open your hand to me and satisfy my desires. All the desires that you have put in my heart according to your will, your plan and your purpose. Father, open your hand and satisfy it. In the name of Jesus, Father, open your hand and satisfy me. Open your hand towards me and satisfy me. Divine satisfaction that comes via the hand of God. Let it be my portion. 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 In the name of Jesus. Jika pakete kete lika tu selebre kete lianosa imbrato sata yekete. Father, open your hand and satisfy my desires. 
In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. I like you to pray this prayer. It's very dear to my heart. Say, my father, my father, my father let your gentle loving hand, your gentle loving, your gentle loving hand of compassion, your gentle loving, your gentle loving hand of love, let it wipe away every tears of my eyes. Let it wipe away every tears away from my eyes. In the name of Jesus, please pray that prayer. I don't know who you are. I don't know what has made you to cry. I don't know what has made you to have tears in your eyes. But the mighty hand of Jehovah, the gentle, loving, caring hand of God, the, his hand of compassion, his hand of love, can wipe the tears away. Say, my father, my father, let your gentle, loving hand of love and compassion, let it wipe away every tears from my eyes. Let it wipe away every tears from my eyes. Let it wipe away every tears from my eyes. Let it wipe away every tears from my eyes. Let it wipe away every tears from my eyes. In the name of Jesus, your word says that there shall be rejoicing and salvation in the tabernacle of the righteous because the right hand of the Lord do it valiantly. My God and my Father, let your gentle loving hand of love and compassion wipe away every tears from my eyes and Cause me to rejoice in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Oh, my God. We are going to pray this next prayer. And I like you, wherever you are, just say, Father, I put my hands in your hands. Hey, pray it from the depths of Say, my God and my Father. I put my hands in your hands. Please hold me. Uphold me. Carry me, help me, empower me, save me, rescue me, strengthen me. I put my hands in your hands. Come on, lift your voice and pray that prayer. Oh, come on, lift your voice and pray that prayer. I put my hands in your hands, oh Lord. I put my hands in your hands, oh Lord. I put my hands in your hands, oh Lord. I will not fail, for Jesus never failed. Lift your voice and pray that prayer. Say, my God and my Father. I put my hands in your hands. Let me not fail. Let me not fall. Strengthen me, O oh God. Empower me. Hold me. Carry me. Help me. Strengthen me. I put my hands in your hands. Father, please hold me by your hand. Please hold me by your hand. I stretch forth my hands to you. Father, please hold me by your hands. Hold me by your hands. I put my my hands in your hands, oh God. I put my hands in your hands, my God and my Father. I put my hands in your hands. I put my hands in your hands. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I like to pray, and I want you to also pray for everyone in need of healing. In need of healing, healing in your body, healing in your body. There is what is called the touch of the hand of God. The touch of the hand of God. In Luke's Gospel chapter 7, when you read, in fact, all the whole chapter of chapter 7, the Bible speaking about from verse 11 to 16, how that there was a young man that died and was being carried away. And while they were weeping, and everyone was joining this woman to weep, the Bible says that Jesus appeared on the scene and just one touch of the master he that was dead came back to life all the sickness all the disease all the infirmity disappeared I want you to cry out to God and say my father my father touch me with your hand and let every sickness every disease every infirmity whatever name it is being called in my body that is not meant to be there 
by the touch of the Almighty, let it disappear. Let it vanish. Father, let your healing hand, let it touch me now. Let your healing hand, let it touch me now. Let it touch my children. Let it touch my husband, my wife. Let it touch my family members. Oh God of heaven, from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, let your hand touch me. Let your hand touch me. That which was dead, that the enemy has put to death by the touch of the Almighty, let there be a resurrection. Let there be a revival. Let there be a coming back to life. In the name of Jesus, by the touch of the Almighty, Father, touch me with your hand. Touch me with your hand. Touch me with your hand. I need a touch of the Master. I need a touch of the Almighty. I need a touch of the healing hand of Jesus. Touch me with your hand, oh God. Touch me with your hand, oh God. Touch me with your hand, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. So much to pray, but I'd like you to pray all the prayers you can remember concerning Elijah, concerning Jabez, concerning Nehemiah. You're going to cry out to God and say, Oh God, let your hand rest upon me. Let your hand be with me. Let your hand be for me. Let your hand grant me accelerated progress in life. Let your hand grant me speed in life. Let your hand keep me from evil. Let your hand rest upon me for good. Lift your voice and pray that prayer. Ah, remember Elijah. The Bible said the hand of the Lord came upon him. He outran the chariots of Ahab. It was by the hand of God that Jabez's story changed and was transformed. It was the hand of God that was upon Nehemiah that made the good hand, the good hand of the Lord that made the king to grant him his request and finish rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem in 52 days. Father, let your hand come upon me. Let your hand keep me from evil. Let your hand grant me accelerated progress in life. In the name of Jesus, your hand, oh God, your hand, oh God, do what your hand knows best how to do in my life and in my destiny. In the name of Jesus, Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Uh, pray this next week. I say, Father, Father, let your hand be opened unto me and satisfy my heart desires. And let your hand open for me great doors of blessing, great doors of opportunities, great doors of favor. In the name of Jesus, pray that prayer in 10 seconds. Say, let your hand open great doors for me. Let your hand open great doors of favor and opportunities for me in my workplace, in the works of my hands, in my business, wherever I go, in all the cities where I go. Let your hand open for me great doors of blessings and opportunities. Let it open great doors of blessings, favor and opportunities for my children. In the name of Jesus, for every member of my family. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Pray these two more prayers and then I'll pray for you. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your hand of grace, your hand of power, your hand of anointing, let it be strong and evident upon my life. Uh, if you have a ministry, say, upon my ministry. Let it be strong and mighty. Let it be evident upon my family. Your hand of grace, your hand of power, your hand of anointing. Let it be strong and evident upon my life, upon my destiny, upon my family, upon my ministry, upon the works of my hand. Let your hand of grace, your hand of power, your hand of anointing. Let it be strong and evident. Come on, please pray that quick prayer. Say, Father, let your hand of grace, power, and anointing, uh, let it be strong and evident in my life. Uh, let it be strong and evident in my life. Uh, let it be strong and evident in my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. One more prayer. And I'd like you to please listen to this carefully. 
In Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1 and 2. Isaiah chapter 59. Verse 1 and 2, the Bible says, The hand of the Lord is not shortened, that it cannot say, neither is ear heavy, that it cannot hear. He says, But our iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. He said, The hand of the Lord is not shortened. The hand of the Lord is not shortened that it cannot say, But my sin and your sin. Have separated between us and the power of the hand of God in our life. You're going to cry out to God. I don't know who you are, but the Bible says if you say that you have no sin, ah, then you have made God a liar. You're going to cry out to God and say, My God and my Father, any sin in me that is injuring your hand from helping me, from saving me, Father, please forgive me and show me mercy in the name of Jesus. Father, whatever sin is in me, whatever weakness, whatever besetting sin, anything I thought, iniquity that is in me, that is not making the hand of the Lord to be strong and valiant and powerful on my behalf. Father, please forgive me. Have mercy upon me. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says that if you confess and forsake your sin, God is faithful and just to forgive and to cleanse from all iniquities. My God and my Father, any sin, any iniquity, any unrighteousness in me that has made the hand of God to be shutting towards me or that is not allowing the hand of God to help me and to save me. Father God, today I cry out to you. Please forgive me. Show me mercy and grant me grace to forsake all of my sins. In the name of Jesus, help me, O oh God. Help me, show me mercy in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I'd like to pray for you. I don't know whatever way that you have prayed today, but I pray for you with all the faith and all the passion in me that today, today, and for the rest of your life, the hand of the Almighty God shall be with you shall be for you shall be with you shall be for you and shall rest upon you the mighty hand of God shall do valiant things for you the mighty hand of God shall do mighty wonders on your behalf the mighty hand of God will save you the mighty hand of God will rescue you the mighty hand of God will heal you the mighty hand of God will strengthen you the mighty hand of God will deliver you the the mighty hand of God will help you. It will rescue you from falling. It will rescue you from failing. It will rescue you from fainting. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you today. The mighty hand of God will carry you. I said the mighty hand of God will carry you. It will cover you from evil. It will shield you and protect you from wicked powers, wicked forces, wicked personalities. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The mighty hand of God shall be good for you, good upon you. By the hand of God upon your life, kings will grant you your request. Your request shall be granted. And I pray for you, the mighty hand of God that makes men to enjoy joy, acceleration, and speed in life. I decree by that mighty hand, you will enjoy speed and acceleration in life. I say you will enjoy speed and acceleration in life. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Whatever the hand of God can do to transform a man's life and destiny, the hand of my God will do for you. My God, the hand of God will fight for you. He will beat down your foes and your enemies. 
in the name of Jesus. I said the hand of God will open rivers in high places, fountains in the midst of the valley. It will make the wilderness a pool of water. It will make ways for you where there seems to be no way. By the mighty hand of God, every Red Sea that is on your way to your promised land, the mighty hand of God will part the Red Sea. The mighty hand of God will part the Red Sea. In the name of Jesus, I decree for someone under the sound of my voice, whatever name that sickness is being called, whatever name that disease is being called, I decree the mighty hand of God's healing will rest upon you. The mighty hand of God's healing will rest upon you. And that sickness shall disappear. That disease will disappear. Healing will come to your body. Wholeness will come to your body. Sound health will come to your body. In the name of Jesus, what the doctors could not solve, what the doctors could not do, the mighty hand of God will do for you. I hear in my spirit that surgery that the doctors are finding hard to do. I decree the mighty hand of God will perform that surgery without sweat, without trace in the name of Jesus. They will look for that in infirmity and they will not find it again. I said they will look for that infirmity and they will not find it again. In the name of Jesus, by the mighty hand of God you are rising. By the mighty hand of God you are moving forward. By the mighty hand of God you are promoted. By the mighty hand of God, I decree prosperity into your life. In the name of Jesus, I pray that God will take hold of your hand and he will strengthen you, he will empower you, he will uphold you, he will strengthen you with, the right, with his right hand of righteousness. In the name of Jesus, from this day henceforth, the mighty hand of God's grace, his mighty hand of power, his mighty hand of anointing shall be strong and evident upon your life, upon your life, upon your life upon your ministry, upon the works of your hands, it shall be strong and evident upon your family. When men look at you and they see the exploit and the glory of God upon you, they will say of a truth, this is the finger of God, this is the hand of God. In the name of Jesus, Whatever you couldn't do for yourself, the hand of God will do for you. Whatever you couldn't achieve for yourself, the hand of God will achieve for you. In the name of Jesus, from this day henceforth, you and the hand of God, you go wherever you go. The hand of God will always be with you. The hand of God will always be for you. And the hand of God will be upon you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for answered prayers. And I pray for someone today, whatever sin, whatever unrighteousness, whatever iniquity has not made the hand of God to be strong and mighty on your behalf, I pray for you. May the Lord forgive you. May the Lord show you mercy. May the Lord empower you to live a righteous life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, O God, for answered prayers. For in Jesus' mighty and precious name, we are praying. Amen. amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'd like you to please give me just five more minutes and then we'll, be, we'll close for today. First and foremost, if you're listening or watching right now from any part of the world and you have not made Jesus the Lord of your life, the hand of God only does valiant things for his own, for righteous ones. I like to pray for you and I like to pray with you. I want you to pray this very simple prayer with me and you will receive the gift of salvation, the gift of eternal life at no cost to your life and to your destiny. I want you to pray this prayer. Say, my father, my father I, come to you today. I come to you today. 
I know I have sinned against you. Please forgive me. Wash me clean by the blood of Jesus. Today I confess. If you pray that simple, honest prayer, you just got born again. A miracle just took place in your life. And I want to say congratulations. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. And you will not faint. You will not fall. You will not falter. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And if you have any question, you want us to pray with you, you want us to encourage you, whatever it is, you can send us a message either on Facebook, uh, Messenger, or uh, in the comment section on YouTube, DM, or WhatsApp, whatever is good for you, please reach out to us and we will be so glad to be of help to you. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And secondly, I like to pray. As I will give my offering and my tithes today, uh, I want you, if you have your offering, if you have your tithes, whatever it is that you want to give unto the Lord, I'd like to pray with you. And I want to say thank you to everyone that has been giving at different times. I pray that the God of heaven that owes no man anything, that God will reward you abundantly in the name of Jesus. i like us to pray. Uh, if you want to give, whether through M-Pesa, if you are in East Africa, it's 70 1519 If you are in the United States and you're using Zelle uh, or PayPal, the, the address is an email address and it is Pastor Shesson Banjo at gmail.com. Pastor Shesson Banjo, full, all in small letters. Pastor Shesson Banjo at gmail.com or if you are in Nigeria and you want to give an offering, you can send us a message. We'll give you the account details. I'd like to pray with you. Father God, we thank you. Thank you for the privilege to always give and come into your presence and uh, with our gift. Father, we say thank you. Out of the abundance that you have given to us, we have come with our seed, with our offering, with our tithe, and we pray, Father, that you please accept us, accept our offering, accept our tithe. Let it be used only for your glory. And every hand that is given today, I pray that the Almighty God Himself will reward you, will satisfy your heart desires, and will bless you in return in ways that you cannot simply imagine more than your expectation in the name of the lord jesus christ and i pray that by your seed and by your offering you will always have more than sufficient in the name of jesus christ thank you heavenly father to you alone be the praise and the glory in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen and amen praise the name of the lord God bless you once again. Thank you for joining us today. We really appreciate your time in God's presence. We are so glad. We are so joyful. We are so grateful. Every time you join us online, for those watching on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, uh, on the different channels, we just want to say thank you. Thank you and thank you. It is our prayer that every prayer that we have prayed on this altar of turning point, the God of heaven will answer speedily in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And on behalf of my lovely wife and I, would like to say a very big thank you to you. God bless you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Next week, Sunday promises to be awesome. It's going to be the first Sunday in the month of June. And God spoke to us about the month of June. The month of June is going to be our month of supernatural exploits. Amen. Supernatural exploits. It's going to be by the Spirit of God. Not by power, Amen. not by might, Amen. but by my Spirit, here, the Lord. Amen. Supernatural Amen. exploits Amen. in every area of your life. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. I'd like you to please stay tuned. Watch out next week, Sunday. This same time on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, and God will bless you 
in Jesus mighty name. Amen. I like my wife to declare a word of blessing over us and then we share the goodness. Amen. Thank you once again for joining us. We love you all and we appreciate you and we say God bless you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The hand of the Lord will rest upon you. The hand of the Lord will save you. The hand of the Lord will guide you. He will lead you in the name of Jesus. As you've put your hands in the hands of God today, nothing will take it away in the name of Jesus. He will forever hold you, Amen. lead you, make ways for you where there seems to be no way in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we just want to say oh, thank, oh, thank you. you Jesus. Thank you for your word to us today. Thank, thank you. you for your thank mighty you. hands thank that you. is resting upon us oh, and upon you. your people, oh God. Thank you. thank you for all that you have done, oh God. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for thank your hand, oh God. You. Because we see your hand doing mighty things in our lives, oh yes, God. Lord. We bless you. We worship you and we exalt you, yes, God. Father. We see your hands making way for us as we go into this week. Amen. We see your hands healing us. Amen. We see your hands providing Amen. for us, protecting Amen. us, and guiding us, and leading us, and granting us favor in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for your hands, oh God. Thank you, thank Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Oh, thank we are you, grateful Lord. for your mighty hands upon us forever, Yes, Lord. Lord. Blessed be your holy name, oh God. Amen. For in Jesus' name we pray. And thank you once again for your son, oh God, that thank you Thank you, used Jesus. Even this day to declare your words over us, oh God. We ask, oh God, that upon his life, oh God, upon his ministry, upon his career, upon every aspect of his life, oh God, let your hand of mercy rest upon him. Let your mighty hand rest upon him, oh God. Let your hand guide him, lead him, direct him, make ways for him where there seems to be no way. In the name of Jesus, let your hand, oh God, deliver to him, oh God, his heart desires according to your will. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, let him be a first partaker of this blessing Amen. of today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for all that you have done for us. Thank, thank you, you for Jesus. our beautiful family online oh, all across the globe. You. In thank East Africa, you. in West Africa, in the in Asia, in America, in Canada, in UK, in Australia. Thank, thank you for each you. and every oh, one of them. You, Lord Jesus. In their homes, let your hand rest upon them. Amen. Let your hand rest upon their family. Amen. Let your hand rest upon their businesses. Amen. Let your hands rest upon their careers. Let your hands rest upon their academics. Amen. Let your hands rest upon their ministry, Amen. Oh God. In every area of their life, so oh God, let yes, them Lord. see your hands Amen. in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank we you, bless Jesus. you and worship Hallelujah. you, Father. For in Jesus' precious and mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord keep you. Amen. May the Lord cause His face to shine upon you. Amen. Be gracious unto you. Amen. Shine the light of His countenance upon you. Amen. Grant you peace, amen. progress, and prosperity. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. your week is blessed. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. in the name of the Son, Amen. and in the name of the Holy Spirit, Amen. you shall return with your testimony Amen. with the voice of rejoicing. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Amen.